So, welcome to my channel. We are going to do, or I'm going to do today, is set up my planners for 2022. I am a little bit late, but I'm going to show you what my new year process is. So, I hope you stick around and give me a like. Hi, I am Kate. Welcome to my channel. I hope you give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you are new and comment below. Let me know what's going on. How are you starting 2022? Okay. I finally, to a point where I want to show you, this is the whole entire process of creating my next year's planner. So I have my pocket. I have my two, this is only personal. My business one's already taken care of. I'm not gonna show you that. My goal, main squeeze is already taken care of, but this is gonna be my personal and then our family wall calendar in my pocket. So, first things first. And we're also gonna set up my Franken Planner personal for the new year. But before we do that, Let's get these two planners that I created in their little housing thing. So I am reusing the Botanical Gardens monthly plus its own dividers, which of course, since this was an 18 month when it came out, there's the extra July through December in there. Sometimes I'm going, hmm, happy I should have extras of the others. So. I am just gonna do is, and I just inverted the covers. I'm gonna start flopping these in here and such. Okay, now we're in January. Um, so I took these old dividers and since I already had used them, I have double-sided tape, another piece of paper down um and i have done a video on how i did that so go check that one out it'll be under the oh i gotta remember now i reorganized as i was getting ready to revamp my channel and doing more stuff so these setup videos i like doing them um it gives me a chance to talk to you at the same time, gives you a chance to see what I'm using. To, uh, I do have in the works a uh, review of 2021. Um, I have, even though I have not been... Oh, that's confusing me. <laughs> um, even though I have not been recording videos for over nine months, I have been using my planners. And I can show, I'm going to do a year in review, show you how I did that. Um, use my planners. My system has changed a bit due to the fact that my business has refocused. My life has refocused. I'm also working for my brother-in-law as well. And that's bringing me some, you know, a little extra money to do the fun stuff that I want to do, but also I'm hoping to make money on my own with my own planner business because I'm enjoying how I revamped this, which is one of the things was these inserts, which I'm still working on <laughs> um, and such. So, and also we're going to see how well recording with quiet children is going to be because I can't kick them out. I can Technically, my husband was nice enough and went downstairs to watch shows and chill today as I do this. But I am going live on Thursdays to decorate or plan with me or whatever, you know, my process. And it'll be week for the weeks ahead. So I got the inspiration from Cindy and Tamara to do live plan with me and Cindy does it how I do it 
I stand the stickers or I stand what I got. Doesn't matter. Hunky dory. Um, after that, she kind of puts in, but she does it the week of on her channel. But I liked how Tamara did it a uh, month ahead. So we're going to do two weeks ahead on that. Now remember, this is at 18 months, so all of these are just extra dividers. And so I'll just leave it as such. I might do is relabel these extra dividers at one point. So get these note papers in here. There's always extra 20 pages and it's just graph paper now, no more lined. Um, everything has graph paper in between due to the fact I like it um, and such. All right, so there's the catch-all. Now, this is where they get housed when they are in and out of my Franken planner. I still use a Franken planner. So this is a new one. This is going to be a test for me. I will have it up. I need to create an undated version. I'll put this dated version up there as well, this 2022 version. But I'll have an undated version as well due to, but I need to make it. So it'll be a, a bit. That's my projects the next couple weeks. But this is a meal plan. I created due to I wanted to combine my health and my food tractors. So it could be a food tracker. It could be a meal plan if you want to plan every meal and that's what I'm kind of trying to shoot for so if you remember the home this is the home body old home body and that was 12 months so this one's just 12 months so we don't have to worry about extra dividers on this one here we go I know I could easily on these other sides do like pretty paper or something, but I thought this was a neat way to read. I don't use a lot of extra. I have so much extra paper, filler paper, you, you would call it. I got some from, I buy the packs, uh, the hunt, the blocks, they call them from Humpy Platter. They have good paper or any other filler paper I think is pretty cool. Um, I have the old ha homebody ones still, a few others. I need to start using my paper. Stop. No. I'm recording. And such. So, okay, let me get these done and I'll get back to you. Okay, so I don't know where I paused that. <laughs> I thought I was getting something ready, and I guess not. So just to go over what I was doing before I realized I paused my video. This is a calendar that's hung up in our kitchen. And I usually get these as a Christmas gift from my mother. She likes to pick out calendars I really like this one um, due to the fact that it shows the moon cycles um, I'm really you know f in tune with figuring out moon and stars and stuff like that um, so this is hanging up in the kitchen so I put birthdays no school days appointments for the uh, family members and myself so that they know what is going on so I already filled out a few um, days and the birthdays as well but I really like how they have some cool ideas up here. I would definitely would want this one next year. Hint, hint, mom. Um, so, going to quit flu. I only know his birthdays. I didn't pull out my Google calendars, which I could easily do so. Give me a sec.
That's all I know for now. So, got that done. I get the hang of that up. All right. I really don't know where I left. Okay, so this is my pocket planner. It is a wallet. Um, my wallet. So, I love... This is a Motrin. I love how I have a pocket. It's here for my... Oh, here for all my cash or other little pieces of paper but also there's a little coin purse right here there's a pocket here I have some business cards and other cards and then here too and then all my cards so I really enjoy this so the corners some of the corners got beat up on these little dashboards I made debating about laminating them so that'll be a project down the road but I did make myself this is one of the first ones I designed. I made myself a uh, 2022. So I am going to take out this little guy. This is like, it's so small, but it is nice. So, but what I'm going to do this time is I'm going to use more of these as um, dividers between the months. So hold on one moment here. These are so, so this time I was able to fit barely and I, I don't see it well so I might have to do is when I get back to designing this one is to basically um put lines probably just to corner off the months so it's easier to see um but I did this for the pocket size because 31 lines would not fit here and it'd be so small it's not even worth it so you can see it's already some of these have had some love so January with an extra piece of paper in between and that's all it is is just some graph paper in between see here I'll close it I have to so here is January. I was, as you know, for my planner design, I hate the half boxes or the diagonal, whichever way companies do it. I just bump it up to an extra row. Yes, they get a little screech, but I rather have a full box and not be screech. Um, uh, I just put this so it's, you know, it's easy to put the month there and have this here. Um, same as my new... But the rest of the month is just graph paper, which you can get with my monthly um, planners. They are up there for the undated and such. I'm still organizing and doing stuff. So February. It's right here. So let me get these in. It looks like I need see this is why I probably have to laminate them. <laughs> and I don't know if I have enough either. So that was the other thing. Alright. And there's April. So yeah, I throw an extra do this now it's gonna be easy now because this is my note pages towards the back it's so tiny but it's great too when I forgot my phone which you know what happens in the blue all I really did was put stickers on them but I'm not gonna do that this time this time I'm just gonna leave them pen only and see what happens this year. I take my time. So yeah, I have to make myself some more dividers. So, and then I don't have extra pages in the back. I'm just do that. So that's a project in itself. So when I decided to laminate the purple ones, I might have to take out more of these note pages, but I always have pens in my purse. I have a separate pouch for that. So that's why I don't use the pen loop, but there we go. All ready to go back in and then these I will pin cut like this and throw it with the stash 
for the 2021 ones for a year and then I just chuck them. Okay. Last but not least, the true personal stack of, and I don't need stickers out of here, so that's why I have this. Um, so, of course, when I saw these covers from Happy Panner, the, you can see that I was like, that's mine. I will pay full price for this. That's mine. So I did. And then, of course, I ran out. I'm using all my expandable discs. I, I'm like, oh, my gosh. My husband's like, well, you got to do what you got to do. You have money. I'm like, thanks, dear. Yes, I know. It's one thing. It's nice. He can pay all the house bills and I, my money can be for other things. So I had to do as when I was prepping for this setup, I was like, hmm, I don't have any discs. Gotta go to Michael's and pick up some discs. So I won't need three of those. Okay. Get a little cramp. Get a little cramp. But that's okay. Here. Alright, so I'll get started on putting these on and we'll come back. The last thing I didn't show you was this Happy Planner old journal. I can't remember how back in the day it was. I just really liked the cover and the disc. And they had given you a few of these dividers, but they're all attached to the journal. So I've been trying to journal every day. So this is going to be helping me. We have this behind my meal plan slash health section. So I'm adding these to here. So look at that. It's so beautiful. Open this up. And we'll get these in here. And then, of course, I will have to... I don't know if I'll sticker them today. That's why I have the stickers out, because I have a journal sticker that I've been putting on these tabs that I got from Chrissy Marie Designs. Uh, her shop is definitely linked below. I always make sure her shop is, because I use a lot of her stickers. I love her little um, functional script stickers and the such. So... There's this. There's some of these pages I did not use that I have in my um, faith planner. So they were used to be in my faith planner. And then I'm like, mm, I'm not seeing that every... I'm not been good at that. It doesn't seem... It seems too much to do all at one sitting for my faith plan. So, trying to break up some of my mental health faith plan kind of stuff. So put that there <clears throat> excuse me so supposedly there is a month's worth in each one of these sections and I have to go through and double check because there's the daily part and then the weekly part so there we go getting a little crowded so basically I'm going to be because I only have three left. I think it came with six. So I have more of these in. Or four. Yes. It came with four months worth. Which is like, okay, it's not even a quarter. But all right, whatever. I do have my own. So. <clears throat> you know how I buy Happy Planner. And it's because I like the dividers and the disc. But, you know, inserts are inserts. So I try to use the inserts first. Well, that's what I'm doing with my business. I kind of feel like cheating, but it's another way to use those things. So then I can use those dividers and such for later. And then as soon as I don't buy a lot of Happy Planner stuff anymore, I haven't bought stickers in a long time. I keep on looking. I'm like, oh, those are cool new sticker books that ladies have. But I never find them in the store. I'm like, all right, it's not meant to be. I'm not going to worry about it. Of course, I don't go to Joanne's often. The other time I had to go to jo get something from Joanne's, I had to order online. So, there is that. Alright, 
So it is a chunky monkey already. So on my lives, I will be setting up the, the you know this. So that's kind of cool in a sense too. Besides that part, so I'll put this aside because all the rest is in here, and then this is the lined. Um, yeah, I'll set this up later. There's a lot of other things like my current Franken planner. Um, when I do the flip through of that one, I will put in transfer over. So I've been doing a lot of like these with some covers and just like rotating my Franken planner through. So look at this here and also last year how I don't know if you remember if uh, in the beginning of the year because it was only at the beginning of the year I was setting up them up per quarter well this year I'm going to do it every month I would take out the old month that passed and put in the new month so then I can keep on future planning and keep on moving forward um, I'll still keep three months in this time and such so that's still the plan um what else okay so there's the first three months i do have keep these stored and easy reach so it's easy to set up and put back down and reef you know do the dance taking it out taking it back in okay so catch-alls first then it's meal plan and I liked how I label it here. So now I can easily, instead of just like, okay, which one is this? I can see, oh, that's that insert. So I've done, that's a few changes I've done. So when I'm done with this, I will do a flip through real quick what these inserts look up because part of it is showing you my lineup. So let me get these in. We can go from there. So yeah, the punches are a Levenger punch. So, but also I have on my shop, unpun you can select unpunched and you can punch them with your happy planner or arc punch or whatever you want. All right, here's the skeleton or no, the meat, the rest the other infrastructure of my Franken planner. It will be coming. Okay, so. If you have not seen Indonesia, I think did a quick flip through of the uh, one of these and such. Um, Christy has the monthly on her IG. And I don't know if Angie or Tamika has shared theirs on social media yet. So once uh, um, I can do is a link. I'll see if I can link, especially the IG post below and Indonesia's video as well of her hourly one. So Indonesia asked for um, July to June hourly. And so it starts this coming July for her. This is just 2022, I'm working on those, but um, I changed the font selection, but I did this so that it can be used practically for any year. You don't have to worry about days of the week. You can, go through and highlight if you want to know which ones are a weekend you can go through and highlight however you want like how happy planner does it or not i wanted it more simplified i didn't like how happy planner had it days of the week on everything and highlight from them because sometimes it's like one of those things like, eh. so i will use this for future planning <clears throat> and such birthdays not so much um I'm just going to put birthdays on the monthly and leave it at that. Uh, so there's that. And then of course some grid paper. I put an extra grid paper here um, for whatever. I track a few things. So I have a few things that I need to make for this Franken planner. All right. So January, of course, we know that's from happy planner. So you start out here. I put the, the holidays down here in the bottom left corner um, I'm thinking about in 
putting at least new moon and full moon here. Not care about the quarters, but so here's the monthly view. Of course, since it is, you're not getting a half boxes or a slash or whatever. You get the full boxes for the last two because I'm picky like that and I hate it. So I don't mind that I'm losing a little bit of space this way to add on another row. So here's the monthly view. Now this is what the vertical lined ones look like. Pretty simple, clean, dates are at the top. I always thought about shifting this over, put a date here and moving it up, but this makes it easy too. So, um, only reason I thought about that is because some sticker kits have the day and then the date as well. I'll see. I have a few date covers that I can do, but you get, this is of course Sunday monthly and Monday weekly. So you get all the weeks as such. And at the end, just some more graph paper for notes, anything you need pertain for this month. Um, That's why I like my system is because I can easily take it in and out. As I said in previous videos, if you don't care for this page, you can paper clip it here so then you can still use it if you want to pull it to there. So same thing lined with the dates and such. Okay, so the next one, let me get to it. Don't worry, I'll have my, um, my section dividers in between all these so then I can easily flip to them. I realize I don't have a video on how to make those section dividers, so I have that in the works to make ones. Um, I already made a bunch for my business ones. I'm gonna see if I wanna make a separate one for my journal one back here, or put like mental health or something like that. I don't know for sure. All right, so this is the new meal plan. The first part's pretty simple, the same. You get this as well, and then some graph paper. So, I have a residue double sided tape that's sticking out, sticking the pages. Okay, um, this page is the same as the other planners, mostly is that same with the monthly view. Now, this is what I designed for meal planning. Um, so I put the days of the week sideways with the date next to it um, so that that space I thought about putting the month here but it made this so big like no so I put some graph here instead breakfast lunch dinner snacks and then I gave a blank column for you know workouts or weigh-ins or whatever and you know an extra column for whatever you want so it's kind of like the block version or the teacher version except for you get a whole week and then i put some hat for able fit for habit trackers here um to track whatever you wanted to track on the sidebar here because i wanted to make these more even in spacing I'm like oh I have this extra space now what do we put there oh I can put some trackers there so that's how it is I'm gonna play with this see if it works um, I will make it available on the shop but note that it might be versions may be updated for the next planner cycle but that's how that is okay and then if you haven't seen these old older I think they're only a year or two old. Um, journaling ones, I think. So there's a week of, and you have these things. Five things that I'm loving this week. One area I would like to grow in. Little things that bring me joy. Simple ways I can be kinder to others. And then intentions for the week. And then they just give you a dot grid. And then it goes into the days of the week. And it's just the date. You're feeling what empowered me today. How I helped someone today today's highlight today's low moment and then your daily gratitude which i would do is fill this out in the morning as i'm looking through my planner and for the previous day because somehow that reflection in the morning 
I remember it. I reflect everything. At night, I'm like, I'm too tired to do anything important. So I am putting this here instead of my faith one. Um, so I can see it more and work on it more. So that is what this cor this year's Franken Planner is going to be looking like in here. Um, like I said, I'm going to set it up every month and such. So thank you for sticking with me till the end. Comment below. Let me know what you think. I am an avid Franken Planner. It works with my brain to put three months in for a planner. Um, let me know if you want to see my work planner. I might have to have a little a couple sticky notes over a few things for, um, you know, don't want to spoil surprises for my customers and such. And yeah, I'll make sure everything I mentioned here is in the description below for you. And comment, like, subscribe if you are new. And I hope to see you on the next one. Bye.